Well, well, I've gone ahead and muted, muted everyone. So Karen, if you want to mute yourself and I'll turn it over to you. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Karen O'Neill from sunny Colorado and a little bit windy today. And I am so excited to be here to welcome you to the Monday morning chat. This is where we gather and we, we tell our experiences with the patches. We call it the Miracle Monday morning because it seems like a miracle. The science is so new that at first it's even hard to believe the power of these patches. And that's what we talk about today is the power of the patches. And I want you to think about your stories, yours and the other people that you've shared it with. And one of the reasons we all seem, seem is because we are so joyful. We get to not only help our own health, but we get to help the health of others around us. And it is so satisfying. So we're going to get started right away. Allie's got her hand up. And if you can put your hand up, great. If for some reason you're having technical difficulties, just pop in in between and let us know and we'll make sure you, you get in. Uh-oh, I'm garbled, I heard. I am so sorry. Is everybody hearing garbled? Uh-oh. Well, you know what? I'm going to take these, my AirPods out and see if I can go to speaker, okay? I am so sorry. Meanwhile, Allie, why don't you get started? I, um, well, I want to share if you look at my hair, it was platinum before I started on the patches some months ago. But I, I have a question. I live in the country and I have a tick bite. I don't have any symptoms, but many years ago when I had Lyme's disease, I saw an energy worker who gave me an energy, what you call it. Anyway, I was better instantly. I don't want to get any symptoms and I've been using colloidal silver and glutathione on it and wondered if anybody has any recommendations so that I maintain my health. Anybody want to chime in? I can't get my other speaker to work so I'm stuck with my AirPods. Okay. Man. Okay. There. Okay, am I still garbled, you guys? A little bit, you're okay. Okay, well, I won't talk very much. How's that? No. So, <laughs> Allie, I couldn't hear most of what you said because I took my AirPods out. So don't repeat it, but if anybody has something to add, pop in real quick, and then we're gonna go on to the other person with a hand on, has a CH on it, I'm not sure who it is. No, I'll repeat it. Allie, Allie got a tick bite. She's wondering if anybody has any suggestions on a preventative uh, LifeWave protocol or anything else she could do to uh, keep any symptoms. She doesn't have any symptoms and doesn't want any. <laughs> no, no. And, and I also, I'm a health fanatic, have been for 50 years. So my normal lifestyle is the GAPS diet, which is the recommendation for healing from Lyme. So mm -hmm. oh, good. I, I'm going to pop in. I definitely glutathione and of course, X39 because it's mm -hmm. such a detoxer. Yep. And I have another one. I've had some a similar situation several years ago, but I do Eon for the inflammation. Awesome. High inflammation in Lyme. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Mm -hmm. um, just awesome. one thing I would add, um, maybe try a course of chloral <clears throat> silver as well, like for a couple, like maybe seven days or something. <clears throat> Great idea. Just to up Great the immune idea. system. I do that regularly. <laughs> good for you. Yeah, Allie, this has already been answered. Symptoms. It's already been answered, but as as uh, Dr. Nicholas Tivley says, it keeps it so simple. X39, glutathione, and Eon are good for just about anything. Uh, Perfect. Thanks for reminding us. That's awesome. Okay, let's move along. CH, come on in. Hi, my name is Christina Holly. I'm from Brighton. I said earlier here in Colorado. And um, I just wanted to share with you guys a story with my husband. And um, he, he had a surgery done on his left eye. He had surgery on both eyes, but he had a surgery done on his left eye in 2014. The, I don't know what part I can say, but it, like the retina. Is that okay? You can say that. That's not a, it's only disease state. Oh, the name okay. of a disease right. state. So his retina fell and he has no peripheral vision and a bunch of black in splotches all through this vision. 
and really blurry. And it's been like that. We took some herbs and stuff for the first year. And then I got into this because of my dad. And that is a disease. So I won't tell you that one, but it, it takes you and helped him through all of that. And I just believe that that was a message from God that, um, that I was supposed to do this. So um, anyways, um, my husband decided, okay, fine, I'll try it. And he put them on for two weeks, the X39. And his, those black splotches started to clear. They're not all completely clear. And the vision cleared. He's not wearing his glasses for regular watching TV, anything. I mean, I noticed that he's hardly ever wears them except for close up now. His vision was 20. 80 and then went to 2070. We don't know what it is now. We haven't been back, but he's not using his glasses. Wow. wow. That is so cool. That's awesome. Isn't that awesome. Crazy. <laughs> Thank you for sharing oh. and blessing us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's move on to um, Sun Shower. Sun Shower, don't forget to unmute. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm doing this. <laughs> you got it. Oh, okay. So Sun Shower in Sedona, Arizona, and I have Sun Wolf with me, who's my up up line. I'm so fortunate. We had a nice gathering at my house last night. About eight people were here and the stories just kept coming and coming. Um, I want to mention, Allie, um, I'm catching up with you. I'm still platinum up here, but it's all changing. See? <laughs> Sun Shower, we can only see the edge of your face. You need to move into center more. There you go. Yeah. There you go. You're okay there. Well, you're there. Yeah. Okay, you're so I'm going to take you out of it for you're a minute. Good. Okay. Um, so, so last night, um, this lady that uh, I've sponsored, who's uh, 42 now and had early onset, uh, what can we say about that? I uh, can't uh, say that. Neurological nerve stuff yeah. where her mm -hmm. leg shakes, her vision was bad. She can't use her hands right. She has to walk with the she leans on this walker. She's like six foot tall. She used to do basketball for the women's team at uh, Penn State and hasn't been able to do it since she was 19. So, uh, so she is using the patches in a big way. And just even on her, her second morning using X39, the leg that would really, really shake when she would get up in the morning, it wasn't shaking. And I mean, it does shake from time to time now, but it's so reduced. Her vision got better in one day. She said she used to have to have her tablet really close to her, but now it's out here. She's oh my God, the letters are so big. <laughs> and so wow. did you want to say anything about last night? You know, I think one really piece that really helped the whole process was her joy, no matter what, her laughter. You know, with all what she's gone through for 23 years and to see her demeanor, the way she was being was just precious and priceless. That's a part of the healing is the attitude and the energy we bring in to uh, accelerate and manifest results. So it's beautiful. Thank you. Presence. Yeah, that is beautiful. That is awesome. Wonderful. That And it's so exciting. I mean, just knowing, you know, that you've, you were sharing with people that are having these kind of results is so satisfying. Thank you. And Miss Michelle Garrett, come on in and thank you so much for coming and blessing us. This is going to be Richard today. Okay, Richard. Yay. Hi. How are you doing, Karen? Doing great. Hey. I don't, uh, I think you can probably see my left eye is about half open right now, a, a little more maybe. It's we can see. Yeah. All right. Long story short, I got stung by a wasp on my eyelid two days ago. <laughs> and I immediately put yeah, you're right, uh, uh Gregory. <laughs> it was painful. I immediately put uh uh X39, Michelle gave me a, an E on to put on, and it was doing really good. And me being I was in the middle of a project and I was really anxious to try to get my project done. I hate for them to drag on. So anyway, I, I had to drive. My peripheral vision was, was gone though. And so I took the patches off 
by the time I got through running around picking up the materials that I needed and got back, my eye had started to swell. Well, it was uh, almost too late. It continued to swell. I put the patches back on, but they were off for a good three hours or better. And uh, so I kept them uh, on all day yesterday. And this morning I woke up and my eye is half open. It's, uh, it's actually uh, very little pain. I mean, I, it's just a tiny bit sore right now. But uh, so <laughs> the word of warning is when the patches are working, don't take them off. <laughs> <laughs> that is the moral of the story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is for sure. Oh. But, uh, so. Thank you, Richard. That's awesome. Awesome. Okay, Heidi, come on in, and then we have Janet. Thank you, Good guys. Good morning. Good morning. I <laughs> have a side effect story that's such a positive story that I finally realized that I needed to share it. I am 52 years old, and um, about 30 years ago, on August 1st, I had a traumatic experience. Well, I started wearing uh, X39 on February 22nd. I started it at night because I didn't know any better. Um, I had watched um, a Tuesday introduction to the product call and had received the product probably a week before. Anyway, I would consistently wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning. My circadian rhythms would re-visualize this particular trauma because that's what time of day it happened. Um, and I slept through the night and I just got on um, a treadmill yesterday. And normally when I'm on my treadmill, um, I just joined a gym yesterday. And I normally when I'm on the treadmill, I would relive pounding out the trauma. I Ooh. had a wonderful experience on that treadmill yesterday. I didn't even think about it. And then this morning I was like, what story do I have to share about X39? And I'm like, oh, oh my gosh. I didn't think about that on the treadmill and I have not woken up at 3 a.m. in the morning since February 22nd, 2022. Thank you. Wow, <laughs> that is so exciting. Thank you. And you know what I love? You were thinking ahead of time, what story am I gonna share on Monday? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope everybody heard that. That's wonderful. <laughs> thank you for sharing. Okay, Janet, come on in. Hey, good morning, everybody. Janet here from um, Texas. It's kind of burning up at the moment. Um, <laughs> when I first got my patches a year ago, I didn't know what they were, how they worked. But two days in, I got one of those big M headaches that shut you oh, down and yes. shut you down. And, and I just didn't know what to do. So I slapped an X39 on my head. And in five minutes, it was gone. Well, I'm happy to report I haven't had one of those M headaches since last November, except for this morning. And so mm -hmm. I said, wow, okay, X39 on my temple, ice wave on the other temple and center of the forehead, five minutes, gone. So wow. um, if you have those kinds of headaches, like literally I would be on eight to 10 ibuprofen, it would take me eight to 10 hours to get over it. So they're just stunning. Um, but I'm going to pass the baton here and ask my fellow teammate, Julie Diebendahl, to tell her story about what's happened to her with the patches. Come on, Julie, time to share. Oh, I, I was just talking to somebody. Sorry. What, what part did you want me to do, Janet? I don't care. Whatever you got. Oh, well, I'm a player. Hang on. I'll, come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I was just, you know, people text and everything. Yeah. Hi, everybody. I'm Julie. And obviously, I'm a tennis player. You can see the back here. So I was introduced to the patches because I had I ripped my calf playing. And um, I play a really high level. So <laughs> it was very painful. And um, yeah, I think it took... I don't know, probably three weeks I had rest and stuff. And then I was getting really worried because every time I went back on the court, my, uh, you know, I ripped it again. So when you, when you go into national titles and you got representing your country and stuff like that, and world titles, I was like, oh, but I did meet a lady that um, shared the patch with me, which is X39 and the Eon. And I had no idea, obviously, but we put it on the, <laughs> put it on the injury and, um, you know, within minutes, I was like, wow, that's warm. And 
well, you know, and within an hour, I was kind of walking around. I didn't have the pain. It was like, what? And then um, <laughs> and I actually played the next day. I, I repatched and stuff. I mean, it wasn't like totally gone because obviously it was a pretty heavy injury. But um, yeah, I played and we won. And then the next day I was running around, jumping up at the net and everything and patched. So then I was like, oh, my goodness, this is amazing. So it was fine after that. It's been fine ever since four months later. So, um, yeah, that made me go, wow, I need to look at this. What else can it do if it can do that? That's, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes you a believer, doesn't it? It's amazing. And well, we do God call it the plan. Monday morning miracle call, but it is science. <laughs> yeah, God had a plan. Yep. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Julie. Thank you so much. Okay, now I got to scroll and find out if we got any more hands up. No. Who wants to come in and share a story? Come on in. I, have I did try to. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, <laughs> Valerie. Valerie. I did. I did try to um put to put my hand up but i'm not sure what happened but um anyway work. so when i was two years old i long story okay my parents were not terrible people but i stuck my foot into a, a boiling pot of hot water and my little bobby socks got stuck to my foot and um i have a i have a really big scar there so and i could I could sense like warm and cold, but I could never feel warm or cold. So I started wow. the patches probably the second week of May. I went to go have my toes done last week and they wrapped it with hot, with a hot cloth. And I felt it for the first time in 48 years. <clears throat> it was hot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes. So oh, wow. my nerves have returned. To the skin oh my god that's gosh. just that simply amazing huge. to me yes yes, it is. yes it's like firecracker fireworks kind. yes absolutely yes oh thank you for sharing that is awesome okay. and yes if you can't get your hand up pop in because that was perfect thank you, you thank you great. so much all right thank you and then we have sun shower or sun wolf i think it must be sun wolf <laughs> yes yes so I was sharing with the group last night, I have what's called the back ease for 28 years where my head is down towards the ground and there's a T which holds my, uh, my legs up with the cushions. Uh, and what was very interesting is when I do that, I do 50, which is quite a bit. I figured, let's see what I could do with the X49 on and the X39. So I went up to 75. I went, wow, that's pretty amazing. Let's break 100, which I did the next day. Then, you know, it's amazing how infinite potential, unlimited, you know, abilities we have. And I went to 120. I mean, I felt it, but that's a huge, huge increase. So my goal is to go right to 200. I mean, look, I mean, we, we are infinite beings, unlimited potential. <laughs> What the body could do so I'm excited about that one that was quite amazing for me uh, that is amazing and that's what i love it helps with recovery with sports with stamina and when i'm doing any kind of weights at all i can do way more when i have 39 and 49 on so cool thank you there's so many joys we receive with this okay Anne marie come on in hi Anne marie from vermont good morning everyone so this is an ice wave story and it just happened Friday, Friday morning, 7 a.m. Uh, 12 Ecuadorians showed up to do our new roof. It was a three day project. And so it was pretty exciting for us. The whole outside was full of stuff all over the yard and all their materials and pallets and stuff. So I'm out there with my iPhone video, videoing some of their uh, work, all these guys like little monkeys up on our roof. And I wasn't paying attention to where I was walking real well. <laughs> and I had my sandals on, so my foot turned and my sandal flew off and um, I just heard a pop, but honestly it didn't hurt. So I kept videoing, put my sandal back on, videoed some more and uh, came in, put some ice on, did some Arnica, propped it up for about a half hour and went about my day. Well, about three hours later, it started swelling and the bruising started showing up and then I couldn't walk on it, put any weight on it. So I thought better go to express care before they close. They x-rayed it and it was a slight fracture. Of course, the one thing I forgot to tell you that was the most important part is besides the Arnica and the ice, I put ice wave on it, 
which did reduce it somewhat, the pain, but it didn't take it away completely. So anyway, um, after they did the x-ray, saw the fracture, they told me to go home, keep ice on it aggressively, go get some Aleve. Well, we don't have any NSAIDs in our house at all. I'm a naturopath and we just never needed them. We use herbs instead. So I, I decided to, maybe I better get some Aleve just in case I'd have a hard time sleeping, which I did have to break down and take an Aleve that night. Uh, but I think that uh, the only other time I had to take an Aleve till today was this morning. So I think that Ice wave on 12 hours and ice wave off and then back on and off and icing did the trick. I think I would have gone through a lot more leave had I not had my ice wave. So yay, ice wave. <laughs> yay. And you're right. You would have. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Only awesome. two. Well, I know you. that fracture. Only two, I, two leave since Friday. And I don't think I'll need any more. It's pretty much subsided. That's awesome. I love the rapid healing we get with X39 and the ice waves and all of the help we have. So awesome. Thank you. All right, let's go to Susan. I like your smile. Don't forget. Yeah, you're unmuting now. I can tell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, thank you. Well, this again is about my husband. We, I, we've been on the patches, I think now two weeks, uh, but we've been doing the ivermectin protocol for two months now. So He's been, he had some serious um, side effects yesterday from doing all these cleanses and his back was bothering him. And uh, I'm presuming then he's cleaning out his kidneys with all between patches and everything else they're doing. And I said, well, would you like me to put some uh, uh, pain relief on your feet, the, the ice waves? Well, I don't really want to, I said, it's not transdermal, it's phytotherapy. Do you want me to put them on or not? Or do you want to take ibuprofen? Okay, put the patches on. <laughs> smart man. <laughs> I know. Well, he Stubborn, knows. but smart. <laughs> and he put them on and he slept, he slept just fine. But what happened that he knew better than to say no is because he came home one night, we have horses, and he had been loading hay and doing different things. And when he turned, like most humans, we have a tendency to turn the body rather than the feet first to pick up and then turn. And he twisted his knee that is not happy to begin with due to being a, a bull rider and a bull fighter for years. Ooh. So he came home and he could barely get in the house. And I had to go up in the attic and get the crutches actually. So I started putting the patches on him for that with the X39 and the uh, ion and the glutathione on the same knee on the sides. And within two days, he didn't have to use his crutches. So I thought that was pretty amazing. So then he comes by and he goes, well, I know you're buying these patches. Here's a hundred dollars towards them. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought That's that was call. pretty funny. Yeah, that's what you call put your money where your mouth is. Exactly. <laughs> I said, thank you, honey, because I know you know your stuff. I went, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. And, and you know, when I was, I was looking for something wonderful that would help people, one of the things I wanted was something that had way more value than the money you spend on it. And this is it. <laughs> it's so awesome. Okay, thank you, Susan. And I don't see any more hands up, so I'm sure if there isn't anybody else, we'll, we'll go to Robin and Gregory, but if there is, pop in quick. Well, we're getting close, so let's go to Robin and Gregory and we'll talk about tonight, I suppose. Thank you, everybody. You're all wonderful and keep on making miracles happen with all the science we have. Okay, <clears throat> well, I think Robin's coming in. Okay, Robin, are you gonna share? And start to download. Okay, are you you're gonna? Okay. So Robin's gonna share a little bit with us here. <laughs> <laughs> See how I got out of that? <laughs> Hold on a second here. I gotta get a cat out of the way, Max. <laughs> yeah. Come here, Max. Go to your spot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's he Max's. wasn't happy about that. <laughs> well, hi, everybody. And thank you, Karen. That was fabulous. As always, <clears throat> the stories are. 
It's amazing. We love being with you on Monday mornings. Um, tomorrow night, we have Anne Morrow. She will be on our introduction to LifeWave mm -hmm. X39 at seven, 6 p.m. Pacific. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> a lot of teams are doing all kinds of fun stuff this month to support rank advancement. And we talked about it on our Thursday call. And I'm, I'm thinking we should talk about it tonight because uh, not everybody's on the Thursday call. And there's so much wonderful team energy, excitement, activity for rank advancement because anyone who is a manager or above gets to walk across the stage at recognition at our gala on Saturday night at the um, convention. And we are collecting names. I'm going to put a, a message out to all the directors, but um, I'd love to know who's coming and how many are coming to the convention. And if you haven't made your plans yet, it's time because we have till the 15th to get um, in, enrolled in the possibility of winning, set your intention of a complete convention package, including, you know, reimbursement for up to a thousand dollars for airfare, hotel, extra money. I mean, it's amazing. And that goes until the 15th, they extended that. So that's exciting. What do you want to say? That sounds wonderful. <laughs> So uh, <laughs> we're, we're really excited to see you guys because, um, and there's so many people we've never met before. Um, come with, with your team, because as we know, the people that have the largest team grow the fastest. And this month of July, we've got several weeks left for rank advancement. And that's what we want to talk about tonight. And you know, you've heard me say the worst thing that could possibly happen if you don't get to the rank, you've got some great momentum because you've been putting in all that great energy and it does, it will come back to you. And this timing is amazing. So get your team, just keep inviting your people to show up. Sometimes they just need your invitation. You know, it's really quite that, that simple. And if you're not able to come for whatever reason, make sure you have a, um, a watch party at your house and invite a lot of people over. So tonight we're going to be talking about rank advancement. We're going to be talking about bring your teams. And um, this is a team sport and we just are thrilled to get to see you. And I know this week, Helen is going to be down in New Mexico mm -hmm. doing events. And uh, that is on the Facebook page um, <clears throat> on Thursday. It was in last week's newsletter. It'll be in this week's newsletter. It'll also. be in the newsletter. Mm -hmm. uh, we were going to have a, um, a director introduce Connie Ward tonight, but, um, we're, we're going to wait till next week for that one. Um, a big announcement for Gregory and I, we have a book launching happening on Thursday and it is a two hour special event that you are all invited to and um, the details are in the Facebook group if you haven't seen it um, there's 22 ultrapreneurs and what's the rest of the title uh, powerful women and powerful couples and <laughs> I guess we fall in the couples category uh, but it's a compilation of 22 experienced networking professionals or professional teams like Robin and I. So we have a chapter in the book. Our chapter's title is We Grow People. So uh, look forward to sharing the chapter with you sometime soon. And we're excited to be become published authors. And the goal is to get it on the bestseller list. And there's a whole marketing PR campaign built around it. And all of these 21 other participants are all professional networkers like ourselves. So it's going to be promoted far and wide. And you know, I look forward to <clears throat> us all learning from all of them. So there'll be little short vignettes from all 22 authors uh, during that two hour. So just, it's just kind of, a few minutes, like yeah. two minutes each. So it's yeah. not a lot, but yeah. there's great wisdom. We know several of the authors, co-authors, and mm -hmm. their focus is international bestseller. And if you buy a book that day, you get to contribute to that. So mm -hmm. uh, we just wanted to make sure everyone was invited and you let your people know. Um, we haven't been very public about this, but it's time for us to let you know. Yeah. And I think that's all for now.
Um, yeah, I think so. We are at the bottom of the hour and we want to thank everyone for showing up. We love this great way to start off a Monday and um, have a fabulous week. And we're here and uh, go, for, go for those rank advancements. And I do, <laughs> oh, that's one more thing. Emily did ask if you are going for rank advancement, she wants to know, it doesn't matter which rank it is, manager all the way up to SBD because she's supplying extra support and accountability for people. She wants to know. So please do message me and let me know what rank advancement you are going for and who your sponsor is. So I can report that to Emily and I'll put that out again in the Facebook group. Okay. I think that's it. David, did Thank you have you, a Gregory. final word? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks so Very much. Monday. Thank you. Congratulations. Bye. Bravo. Love you all. Everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Bye. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Love the story. Bye. Have a good day. Bye, everybody.